Hello, welcome. I'm Miss Sayers. Say, Miss Sayers. Good. Cat. Cat. Meow. 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 Say, cat. <gasps> Excellent. Hello teachers, I want to show you my classroom and show you some ways to make your teaching online interesting. So in tip number one, decorate your class. Whatever it is, you can see I didn't have a printer so I have just drawn some pictures and I've put them up behind me and it looks interesting for my students when I'm teaching. Tip number two, use little toys to make your class more interesting. You can get them to talk with you. Hello cat. Meow, meow. Hello Miss Sayers. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Okay, good. Tip number three is using TPR, which means using your hands, your physical body. It stands for total physical response. So you want to get them talking, listening, moving, acting. So you also need to be using the hands a lot whilst talking. So some typical things you will learn is this which means repeat. Sometimes I do this because I think this means talk. So I sometimes say talk or say because it looks like um, somebody is talking. But the typical one is this. Okay, listen or repeat, listen. So for example, dog, dog, say, dog. <gasps> Great job. Or with this way, horse, horse. Great horse. Good. Okay, so then we're going to talk about timing. So when you have your class, you have just 25 minutes, 15 minutes, 45 minutes, 30 minutes. It varies depending on your company. But you need to keep the students moving and engaged all of that time. So it's really important that you are following on your clock where you're up to and your slides. Sometimes I need to skip faster through some slides because I spend too long on one activity. It really just depends on um, the level that they're at and if you need to do some repetition repetition okay so after all of that we're also going to talk about flashcards uh, let me just see if I have some to show you in my little teachers kit yes I do so you can make flashcards or you can buy them maybe the topic is animals so I like to use the real animals but maybe you could use flashcards like this koala koala say koala <gasps> and if they don't know how to say it you can clap and sound koala koala so clap and sound or you could also use your fingers. Koala. 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 Great. Then after that, the mouth is so important. They need to copy how we are talking. So, horse. Horse. Say horse. Horse. Good. 
You can see I am doing this a lot because I want to engage my students. You may like to have a reward program like some hearts that I have here or some little stickers that you can hold up and say great job. I think I have one in my teacher's bag. I will just check like this. <gasps> great job. Great job. You can see it's not fancy. I am isolated in COVID at the moment. So I have just made things. What about these things that I've made for a lesson? I just made them. Eyes. Nose. Mouth. Eyes. Nose. Mouth. Eyes. Nose. Mouth. See, many ways to teach one topic. So it's all about being creative. Okay, also decoration I put on the Minnie Mouse ears. Normally I will have a different shirt depending on which company I'm working for. Like Palfish, I wear blue. Uh, when I do other freelance work, I wear a different outfit. Maybe I wear some colors. It just depends on which company. I know um, VIP Kid is orange and I know iTutor is red. So when you're applying for your interview or even your mock photos, dress in the colors, put your backdrop, have your little toys, have some props, use a lot of hand gestures, not like a crazy lady like this, but <laughs> yeah, and equipment. Um, look what I'm using. I'm using a pair of uh, what do you call them iPhone headset it's not even a, a, a proper headset I, I have this one for when I'm using my computer a proper headset and then this one I'm using just for recording there's some amazing wireless pieces that you can buy now but again I'm locked down in COVID so this is what I'm doing my iPhone currently is not even on a stand it's on top of a computer with some books to keep it level because I want to have eye level with you otherwise I'll be like this or like this so it's important to stay eye level with your students okay so I'd love if you could follow me um, my my blog and my website is called teachers safari teachers safari so come along and just read about some more information about becoming an online teacher, maybe some courses that you want to do, like if you're looking at your um, certificates, you could also be doing that. And anyway, I am really grateful that I got to share this with you. So Miss Sayers, Monique, goodbye students, goodbye teacher, goodbye teacher. <gasps> See you in the next class. Bye.